For this one, I'm gonna do the same thing, bringing my pencil and my trunk. Now look at how short my trunk is. It's very short, so I have all this space for canopy. So what I'm gonna do is follow the line up, follow this line up, but on the sides, I'm gonna make these swirls. And I'm filling in my spaces pretty good. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm gonna also make a limb here and a limb here. And once again, I'm gonna fill in the interior of that space. And then when you have the end of a loop, create another one going the opposite direction. Sorry. And you can get them smaller as they come up. Okay. Now I got a pretty good canopy. Need to fill that space. And I feel like I could fill that space up. Once again, I can come in and link my limbs together. And what's cool about this is you're going to be painting this. have a tickle in my throat. <clears> throat. If you're painting this, just follow your line. Your line will thicken automatically. But if you feel uncomfortable with that, just make a limb like I did on the last one, like a shape. And you can fill that shape in. And you could do this whole thing like a shape. So what that is, is just having the line repeated on the inside of your spirals. And look at how that becomes a shape on its own. Just take your time and follow them. And this starts to look like a clump tree. If you look at his, he has lots of spirals on his work. The other thing he has is some interesting like designs here on the tree. He may have some little squares, rectangles, triangles. And he has different values, like darks and lights through there. So have fun with the tree itself. On the land, if you look at the landscape one, he has all these little tiny flowers. And you could come up with different kinds of flowers yourself. Like that could be a flower. It's an unusual looking experience there on the paper compared to a regular flower that we would do. He didn't do regular flowers. He didn't do regular tree trunk. And he didn't do regular little creatures. His He had like a little tiny caterpillar made out of triangles, if I remember correctly. Um, and, and so what can you do on your tree to give it life? And if you notice the tree, there's a bird on it. And some people miss that. So you can actually make birds. You can make blossoms on the tree. He also had like, he had like these... It looked like mushroom caps, but I think those were blossoms on his. So just explore all the different unique shapes you can put that you can add to this. After you're finished, if you do not have paint, you can shade this in just like you did your ribbons. But what I'd like to see is one side of your tree darker than the other, and then underneath your tree, shaded. On both sides. You can fill this all up with pencil and make it look like a painting. Not just a simple drawing, but like take your sweet old time and, oops, outside of my line there, and make it look really, really unique and nice. But see how that's starting to look like a painting in itself. So just take your time with it. Lights and darks, you want that little shading like we did on the ribbons. If you have paint, have at it, go paint, but think of the colors like Clemp used. You wanna fill the whole thing with paint, but take your sweet time because these little details, don't, don't paint over them. You can um, come back with marker and detail them and then paint around them. Uh, sometimes if you have marker, it might bleed, so make sure you don't have um, a water-soluble marker. Another thing you can do is just draw your stuff and then gently go around with your paintbrush so you're outlining your shapes and this would be white and this would be painted so you can do that as well well I hope you have a good time with this assignment um, what I'm looking for in your grade is that you come up with unique 
shapes that you fill your space with because that is something that I'm thinking that is pretty much like a creative thing and want originality, something of your own mind, your own expression should be on this, okay? Alrighty, have a good day. Bye-bye.